Check your six, gang. The Stay Trashy <laughs> Tour is rolling along. We're coming to a city near you. Little AYG with the crowd plus a nice stand-up comedy show. Grab the squad and come out and see us. Yeah, next stop is Tampa, Florida. Second Ooh. show added. Low ticket alert there. Get them, baby. Then we're going to Danny Beach, Florida, Raleigh, North Carolina, Louisville, Kentucky, Cleveland, Ohio, then rounding out in Columbus, Ohio. We're adding more cities. Get those techies. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that if they grow up to be classy, yeah. they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Stage Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition, baby. Mm-hmm. The rise of Tootie continues. Oh, yeah. Just bought a pickleball team. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have them throwing some games this summer. I uh, respect, respect. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage. He is an international businessman, and he's my best pal in the whole wide world. Just got back from doing a little consulting for the Saudis, so the kid's doing all right. <laughs> Talk about oil money, baby. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. What's up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... True to rip. Cooking. Cookin'. And obviously, the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com slash are you garbage. Check it out, gang. It's a party over there. Yeah, and how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man, makes us all look good. Works the ones, works the twos, works the threes and the fours uh-huh. now, crosses them T's and dots them I's. Now you can get a little sneak peek at him, ladies, on the old Toby cam. There he is, T-Bone McScruffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. Hey, what up, dude? What up, T-Bone? Yeah. I'm stoked. We got the L.A. homie in, came in, smelling like the stickiest of the icky. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, gang, the long hair ain't lying. We couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest, back with us again today. Of course, he is the host of the Honeydew Podcast, and he has a brand new special out right now on his YouTube page, Lefty Son. Do me a favor, give it up for Ryan Sickler, everybody. There he is. Right guy. There he is. It is. Listen, first of all, thank you for having me. Of course, thank you, thank thank you for, for coming. Back. Of course. I appreciate the first one. It was pandemic. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, we were um, in the weeds at OG. that point. And y'all have the nicest fucking studio. Oh, thank, thank you, buddy. Listen, I appreciate good that. for you, motherfucker. Thanks, Thanks man. Good I'm for in you. debt up to my eyeballs. I'm sh- <laughs> Look, I know, I know these free podcasts aren't fucking free. You know what I'm saying? These free podcasts, everybody's out like, y'all have too many ads. Do we? Do we? Talk I got to my- six employees <laughs> yeah. to pull this shit off. Yo, it's two bucks for the Fiji water, by the way. <laughs> I'll send you an invoice at the end of the month. No problem. <laughs> you guys are you, doing You went it, to the man. bathroom twice, too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, no. well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to be honest with you about that bathroom. For a guy that's got a fucked up back, that's a hell of a step and down. You should, down. Have some, you should have some emergency <laughs> tape on the floor and give somebody a heads up. Watch I, your step. I You're going to get a lawsuit. I made You're sure gonna... my policy, my premium was paid when you went back in there. Someone's uh. suing you guys two months into this shit. You're going to be right back on a couch. Yeah, it's going to be me. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Foley, why are you suing me? Sue that's all we gotta do. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> trash. You sue yourself. I'm suing my own insurance company, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm making the payments. This guy's oh, an man. idiot. He's negligent. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, buddy, congrats uh, on the special, man. It's cooking out there. Thank you so there. much. It's doing good. I'm very, uh, I'm very happy. I'm pleasantly Looks beautiful. surprised. I never think anything's gonna do well. Thank you. I look. This is something I did. Uh, I directed it. I produced yeah. it. I did all that shit mm-hmm. myself. I found the the di- shout out to the. Is this me right here? The Dynasty typewriter in oh, L.A. Yeah, great yeah, yeah. theater. I a shot great there. Beautiful. Jamie Flam and his crew and. My buddy Sam Vollen helped me pull it off. My producer, Kirsten. You know how it is. There's so many fucking people that help you do this of stuff. Course. that Then you're putting out a free special, and it's like, you know, Ari told me, too. You got to, And then you got to go travel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you're going to Austin to do you promotion. Go do you're coming to New York. Yeah. You, don't, you don't just make it. You don't knock them all out in one fell swoop. No. So you got to come a couple times, and it's important to do this part of it now. So Working, baby. I appreciate you guys having me here. Are you and kidding me, dude? congrats on all your fucking success. Thank you, I brother. I fucking love appreciate your show. It, man, we're so yeah. excited to have you here. Uh, you know, doing it over the Zoom. You know, we were doing what we had to do, but all we talked about 
since you were on that first time, I was, oh, man, can't wait to get him in. You were one of the guys can't wait to get him when in. we made the show. We were like, sickler. Yes. Like you were, it's, I feel like it, I'm a cousin. It, it's <laughs> built for you. It's built for you. This guy's a real ham and egg. Like you know your mom's I mean? a dad's, yeah. no, my mom's a dad. Exactly. <laughs> it's family. He came in right away. Someone's going to get sued in there. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, damn, what's up? What's I up, Uncle Ryan? That's a hell of a step right there. God damn, man. Just had spinal decompression surgery. Almost killed me. <laughs> oh, shit. It is. I think it is that Mid Atlantic, you know, Philly, Baltimore. It's that. It's that blue collar. It's Chip that on white the shoulder. Trash, sure. yeah. It's you know angry. Angry, but comedy is very uh, oh. valued. It mm-hmm. was like you know, it's like who can you fight and and what kind of jokes you can tell. That's right, hundred percent, a hundred percent. All right, let's get into a little because it's been a while. Uh huh. Yeah, you know? and I don't. I've, if I repeat anything, I'm sorry. No, I don't no, remember no, the no, shit no, I no, talked no, about no, last yeah, time, yeah, yeah. but I'm I'm ready. It was a to million go years here. ago. It yeah. was. It was quite a bit ago. We want to just do a little recap, find out a little more. Um, something I thought of. Uh, any uh, like baseball picks when you were a kid? You you played you played little league, right? Yeah. You ever end up on a Wheaties box or anything? Um. The mean, fake stuff, like yeah. you know, the fake Sports Illustrated. Did you get? Did your parents? Oh, you spring mean for no? That? See, look, I'm 50. So back then, uh-huh. man, you you just got down on one knee and put your <laughs> arm on. <laughs> you know, that's the classic pose. I, that's what we do. I did the classic little league pose. It wasn't until like my younger brother's about four years younger than us. That's when they started getting the all star. That's have right, little stars you're 46, and shit on there. Right? Yeah. So that was I'm 47, but not me, yeah. man. We were just we were just posed. And and if somebody had a dog, we put them in there in the team picture. Not Get even Lucy the, in here. Get yeah. Lucy in. Get her in here. She's the mascot. And it's uh, like, oh, is that your mascot? No, nah, she's just that's, there that that's, day. That's Ryan's dog. Yeah. Yeah. So you remember drinking out of those huge yellow coolers. Oh, yeah. The, the yellow jug. Oh, the, Hepa- the hepatitis jugs. <laughs> yeah, I remember those. Yeah, I remember those. That's what we all used to drink out of. Everybody's got herpes Everyone's the scooping their dirty-ass <laughs> hand oh, in there and drinking. Like, oh, God. There was always a couple Ugh. of grass clippings in those <laughs> yeah, things. Always, bro. Gave it a little Some flavor, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Gave it a little sure. flavor. It was all all right. <laughs> I remember leaning over and just smelling that. And you can just smell the chlorine and the oh, fucking pine man. tar in yeah. there. That pine tar. Good. I'll tell you, one of my um, the worst Little League pictures I've ever fucking had. <laughs> this is just humiliating because I have a twin brother. We look nothing like fraternal twins. And we were both very good. I was just, I'm the smallest. My mom's six foot. I'm the uh, shortest person in my wow. fucking family. Okay. So this one season... They didn't want both of us on the all-star team, so they just chose him. But, you know, we're twins. And my dad's like, you're fucking coming. You got to come. And they were like, how about you be the bat boy? And I was like, how about y'all go fuck yourself? I'm I'm better than any one of these motherfuckers out on the field. I ain't pulling a bat for anybody. I respect that. Fuck that. But it's a picture, and I have it somewhere. It's, It's like a purple maroon. It was Taylor, Taylorsville, Winfield, Athletic. It's like TWLAA, all stars. You know, but I'm talking, now listen. Also, we didn't have the Orioles uniforms and the white like they have now. Sure. The white, we yeah. had we were the Braves, but it was a T-shirt that had iron-on letters that said oh, yeah. Braves. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. much different. You were the than, purple team. It wasn't yeah, much yeah. different than this, yeah. to be honest. I have it elevated. There was no embroidery on those. No, yeah. no, there was no number on name on the nah. back. It was just like so maybe said like John's towing on the <laughs> yeah, back. Like, listen, whoever yeah. Stem for Supply it. was it? That's what I was going to ask. Company. Who was the sponsor? It was a hundred percent Stem. Stem's Hardware. Yeah, Stem Supply Company. But he shout out stems <laughs> for all your local uh, hardware needs. But we had um, I didn't make the team. But then my dad's like, come on, I want to take a picture. I'm like, I'm not taking a picture. He's like, you're going to put this shirt on and rep your brother. And then I had those. It was it was white shorts with blue piping around them. Oh, yeah. But I mean, oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Set of nut huggers yeah. on yeah. fucking yeah. T-shirt on. I've got my socks all the way up mm-hmm. and I'm just mad dog and pissed. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck every one of these kids out here. And it's humility. I hate that picture. Are you old enough to remember when, when, when uh, guys were wearing half shirts? Yeah. You were half shirt generation? Yeah. I wore one. You wore a half shirt? I did Not in high school or anything. I wore it. I have a picture of me too in a Seattle Seahawks half shirt. Uh, <laughs> God we, damn Seattle we Seahawks. We lost the Baltimore uh, Colts so I had to, I started liking different teams and I found Seattle out there with Steve Largent and Dave Craig and there I got a go. I got a white mesh 
Damn, Seattle mesh. Seahawks, you know, XXL or whatever mm-hmm. across the middle. Athletic um, department. Oh, bro, you just made me think of this. Here you go. <laughs> this right. is fucking The trash. athletic department oh, was here great. We go. That was real bad. Yeah. Dude. This was they were throwing X's on everything back in the day. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, yeah. I got one for you right here. All right. Ocean City, Maryland. Oh, bad Already start. Trash. Bad start. <laughs> it's where trash blows to. <laughs> it's not even where it works. It collects down there. <laughs> the birthplace of gonorrhea. <laughs> Shout out to Secret. <laughs> Secrets, everybody's just peeing and drinking. <laughs> yeah, you can go out in the water and just piss at yeah. it. But I wouldn't, and, and I'm looking back at this now, like I can't believe my parents let us do this. I would never let my kids, but every year it was a big deal. There were two shirts we wanted to get. There okay. was always, uh, there was a place called BB Bombers. It was a surf store, and they had a buckwheat shirt. Okay. And every year it was some different buckwheat from the Little Rascals uh, shirt they would design every year. So that was a big deal to get it mm-hmm. and come back to school. Because if you had that shirt, you're flexing. flexing. Oh, shit. He's got Wear that three days in a row shit, and man. shit. They went all the way to Ocean City for that. <laughs> they took the bus. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one was we could go in and we could get any shirt we wanted with a fresh iron on. Back when they would take the whole thing and pss, can't tell me nothing with a fresh and then iron. You had on. that smell like Love an iron on. And some, I was some felons doing it for you, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And you, it's a wall of you know concert music. They still whatever. have all that. A shit. van with a rainbow going yeah, over it yeah, or something like happened, that. Yeah. It ain't gonna suck itself or something like that. <laughs> That's the, yeah. Shout out to Wildwood Boardwalk, baby. I'll see you this yeah, weekend. For sure, there's an ass, grass, gas, nobody <laughs> rides for free yeah. fucking yeah. shirt. In. Yeah. Man, I'm I like, wish Can the- I get that, Mom? No, you're not getting that. I remember being naive. I'm like, suck what, Mom? <laughs> yeah. She's like, Shut up. But I end up getting, no fucking lie, a moosehead beer okay. fucking logo Damn. on a black half shirt. Whoa, I remember, I remember it vividly. Now that you ask me that, and I'm well, I'm ten. Mm-hmm. I'm Headed walking around with a beer fucking <laughs> half shirt on. My child, I'm like, what? Like if I had, if my daughter was walking around right now with a Budweiser t-shirt on, I would say, who the fuck put that on? <laughs> I didn't do that. Get that shit off. You're eight. But yeah, it was all about that iron on. <laughs> Those t-shirts back in the day, for some reason, like a t-shirt like the like the Buckwe one that you're talking about, are like. Um, uh, I grew up in PA, so like we, we big in lacrosse. Mm-hmm. And if you got a hold of a Garden City, Long Island lacrosse T-shirt, had Bart Simpson on the back, your, maybe your brother or an older cousin had it. They wore it for like three summers. It was worn in perfectly, dude. That man, that clean flexing. living, man. Yeah, yeah, so sweet. Those T-shirts, they just got. Per- they maybe have a little rip or whatever, but yeah. they still look cool. Yeah. In the nineties, I remember wanting. Uh, Absolute, remember the absolute oh, shirts? Oh man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolute yeah. shirt was. Yeah. My mom was like, "Get the." F-. It was like absolute spring break with a woman with a big pair of jugs yeah. on. <laughs> my mom's like, "You're not wearing it to school." I had one one time. I used to wear shirts all the time. I went on stage early on in my career. I wore a fuck New York t-shirt. <laughs> uh, almost got beat up at the fucking Hollywood Bowl for that t-shirt too. But it was an Oriole Let shirt. Let me see that it shirt. It was a funny black guy. shirt with orange. It was an Oriole Yankee gotcha. thing. Sure, but, sure. Uh, but also, um, I wore this one once. I went to y- y'all ever go to Kings Dominion, no. the amusement park in Richmond, Virginia? You, you I know, know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, it's Paramount's Kings Paramount's Dominion. Kings Dominion. We just now. drove by it. I, I knew. I, yeah, we yeah. were just in Richmond. We just did Richmond. But it used to be Hanna Barbera. Shout Kings out to Hanna Barbera. So, that's yeah. pretty sweet. So we used to park. You park in like the fucking Hair Bear lot or Yogi Bear. You sure. have to remember where you parked. You know that kind of that's shit. That's all right. But I I remember one time being in high school and um. I have no parents at this point. I'm 17, and I go to Kings Dominion. I've got, I, I'm, a, I'm a punk. I've got this fucking shirt on. It's got two dogs do- having doggy style sex on it. I don't remember what it said, but I remember trying to get on the Rebel Yell roller coaster, and they fucking told me I had to turn it inside out or I had to leave the park. No shit. And I fought it, but then, I, <laughs> but I really wanted to ride the yeah. Grizzly. You know? Yeah. And the, and the white we hadn't hit the white water canyon you know, or whatever it's called. You remember that? You remember that? Yo, this dude is all time, bro. Uh, I love him. I love him. I we wanted to get hit. up to that Eiffel Tower over there, man. They got <laughs> I mean, I'm, come on, man. I wanted you know to what they do to Rebel Yell backwards now. That was my favorite. 
all these other roller coasters are coming in and making the old school one look bad. And they were like, well, you know, how can we jazz this thing up? And they were like, we're going to run this bitch backwards. <laughs> Reverse make, it, Tammy. It Make was a whole dangerous. new ride, dude. It was a whole new ride. Like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. I love it. I was like, I love this T-shirt, but I do love coasters. I love yeah. roller coasters. That's when you're torn. <laughs> I think they were just trying to get me to buy a King's Dominion shirt. Oh, really? Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, the yeah, upside. Like, mm, trying to move some off. merch. But back then, I looked good. I would have walked around. I would have walked around with it tied around my neck, you know. Yeah, just flex the I looked good, guns. man. I didn't have titties then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I never not had titties. <laughs> I was like a four-year-old. I was a pudgy little kid. Would you rock the cutoff jean shorts? <clears throat> never. Really? Really? No, I had I tried them one time, but I was like, yeah, even even John Cena doesn't make it look cool for me. <laughs> nah, you know what true. I mean? I he like, can't nah, do it. It's a bad look. Cena can't do it. It's not a good look. It's I had Cena buddies can't. that had it, and I was like, nah, John Cena don't even look good in jean shorts and a braided belt. It was all about that braided belt. Mm. You had to have the it was an, an extra long part of yeah, it. Yeah, it down, down, and yeah, twist, it twist it down in the middle. Yeah, Woo! our our styles were weird. We argyle socks were hot for a minute. Loved Penny them. loafers were hot for Loved a hot them. minute. Um, Folding the jeans, cuffing your pants, yeah, Dude. cuffing your pants. Light at the roll bottom. or something. We yeah. used to, they used to call. I remember my my brother and sister used to do it all yep. the time. Timberlands were big uh, too, but not yeah the old not the the nicer Timberlands, the like the darker the leather. loafer, yeah. the maroon Ooh, one with that. Man. Okay, yeah. you guys, do you remember? Are you old enough to remember jams? Of course, shorts, jam yeah. shorts. Okay, that caused. I was in like uh, seventh and eighth. Caused grade. the riot in Bluebell, dude, Pennsylvania. Dude, <laughs> people were nuts for. Them. I had to close the mall they down. Went nuts for. Them. They went nuts. What for these, are they? That just life's flower the, shorts. Life's the beach hats. Do you remember yep, those life's jams? The beach, yeah, man. Yeah, or hey, jams. if you can't hang with the big dogs, yep. get off the porch. That's when. Oh, that yeah. That's when Op was big. Mm -hmm. Op. Yeah, Op Ocean was Pacific. all right. Yeah, I never wore those shorts these either. Things? They were always too short. Jams. Yeah, dude, they were. They were so hot for a second in the eighties. So. Again, being trash, my mother's like, it, it's that whole shit. We got McDonald's at home. I'm like, no, we fucking don't. Yeah. And my mom makes us jams. Oh. Bro. Out of what? Just fat shit. Just went out. to Joanne Fabrics. Shout out to Joanne's though. Shout out to Joanne. That's where Fabrics. every drug dealer got their dime bags. <laughs> <laughs> I never walked in. I walked in. I'm like, yeah, my mom did a lot of buttons at the house. <laughs> <laughs> We went to Joy of Fabrics, just bought some bullshit flower fucking patterns. And, I mean, the thinnest fucking shit. It ripped right away. Sure. You know, it was embarrassing. I and it know. doesn't say jams on it. So no, all the that kids was the whole in. thing. And I went to school, too, before Target <laughs> existed and had Tony Hawk's clothes and shit. So if you went to Kmart and you got their brand of shoes, which I've had, <laughs> they're called, look them up, they're called McGregor's. Oh, yeah. I know McGregor. You know McGregor? Well. <laughs> Shout out McGregor. to him. Bro, yeah. you would get your ass beat if you brought, brought <laughs> some McGregor's at the wrong party. I had a pair of McGregor man. cleats, the yeah. spikes. Yeah. 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 The spikes would pop out like bad teeth. <laughs> Chewing a bad piece of meat. <laughs> yeah. Fucking getting <laughs> fucked up cruising around second. <laughs> You're like, ow, why? God damn it. Why are you down on the ground? Like, my cleats. <laughs> Three of my cleats fell out. They were like dress shoes. The yeah. bottom was, there was they no They were like padding. old school golf shoes that like yeah. Bagger Vance would wear. Man. And then I remember this pair of shoes Those too were stuck. called, I think they were called Olympia or Olympian. And they were similar to that, but they had this fold over tongue. And that fold over that tongue, tongue was, was fancy. Yeah, it was dope. Big <laughs> back then. Just you might as well be going to a wedding. You know? <laughs> that was rich English guy shit to me. <laughs> like, he's got his tongue folded Damn. over. It's out and over. Uh -huh. You remember Wildcats? <clears throat> I do remember Wildcats. Wildcats or kangaroos. Are you too young for kangaroos, Bro. Kippy? Zips. A little, little pocket on the side. Yeah, nah. Put your you lunch know. money in That's there. That's where those little punks Woo! will put their little loose change lunch money in yeah, that shoe for sure. Kangaroos. That. You know who was a big supporter of kangaroos? Walter Payton. Yeah. Walter Payton used to have oh, ruse shit. on his shit. Yes, yeah, he, he did. was a kangaroos right. guy. Damn. Shout um, out to Walter Payton. Zips. I remember zips when they would do the Z in the dirt with the shoe zips. They could make a Z in the dirt. That was oh, a commercial. Yeah. I, man, I have not remembered Wildcats until Wildcat, you, that's, dude. That's one Wildcats. That's one that's long gone. They'd hit you with back. the growl at the end. <laughs> I'm going to have to go to therapy. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Or hit a Kmart, see what you get your hands on. Realize where I've come from. Go cop some fresh gear after this. I need a half shirt and a pair of jams. And not that bullshit my mom get my made. Get McGregor's now. We're getting the fuck out of here. Uh, that's good stuff. Uh, okay. All right. Have you ever washed shoes in a washing machine or dishwasher? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a bad yeah. look. Yeah. Not a dishwasher. I, I've also never done a ball uh, cap in a dishwasher. I've seen no. that before, too. They used too. to sell the... I don't know if they I've still do it. I've never washed a ball cap. They sell yeah. the... the 
the crate you put it in. Yeah. yeah. No. Never worked. It always fucked up the hat. And fucking up the shoes, man. I was, uh, here's what I used. So, yeah, we used to wash our shoes. But then, and I also used to say wash, by the way. He, wash. His family yeah. says that a little bit. And yeah. it wasn't until I moved to California. Like, it wasn't until my 30s. Uh, someone said to me, what are you saying over there? <laughs> what are you saying over Warsh. there? <laughs> I go, what? I'm putting it in the washer. Yeah. I'm going to wash my clothes. And he's yeah. like, spell wash. And I go, W-A-S-H. And he goes, where's the R? And I went, oh, my God. Where is the R? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no R in there, And it baby. made me, it made, I worked on that one. We used to say hamburg instead of hamburger. Really? We're going to have some hamburg. How about vehicle? Yeah, oh, vehicle. Vehicle. <laughs> vehicle. Yeah, vehicle. Like a state trooper. <laughs> What were the tags on a vehicle? I got too close to the car one time. My mom was pulling in the driveway, and she screamed up the side window, Get away from this vehicle! <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the vehicle. fuck is that? Yeah. My stepdad used to say karaoke for karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Right, go get the karaoke go. machine. <laughs> we used to also, uh, it took me a while to learn how to properly say, because uh, we used to say ambulance. Yeah. Not Am- ambulance. My, our one buddy ambulance. in Philly, Chris Cotton, God rest his soul, used to Lance. say ambulance. How about umbrella? He used to hit umbrella. Yeah, umbrella. Umbrella. That's umbrella. An umbrella. Say it again. Umbrella. <laughs> umbrella. <laughs> That's umbrella. Yes. Yeah, you, uh, how about how about how about the color orange? How do you say that? Orange. orange. Yeah. yeah. My daughter's on me. She's like, it's orange, Dad. I'm like, it's orange. Uh, it's it's A R N G E. And tang right there. That's orange. Yeah. And there's an Oriole shirt that's out right now that says orange and black, and it's spelled like that. And I sent it to her. I go, there you that's go. Awesome. I'm, I might buy it just to wear it around the house. <laughs> Flex there you on go. her a little bit. <laughs> um, on this same thing, how do you pronounce the product that Crayola makes? Ben, I'm going to tell you something right now. Because it ain't right. <laughs> if one of y'all motherfuckers calls it a crayon, I'm going to fucking start swinging in here because it's a crayon. It's a crayon. I, <laughs> I say crown. Crown. How the fuck do you get there? Crayon's better than crown. I don't know. My dad was dumb. There's three different pronunciations of that same thing at this one table. <laughs> Pack of crayons, baby. <laughs> We're all... Crayons, We're from like 200 miles away. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what they I don't care what they're called. But if you got that 64 pack with the sharpener, yeah. could the tell me not. The sharpener that yeah. would ruin the fucking. Oh, uh, right away. Kim, let's talk about Lucy. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Yeah, let's talk about Lucy, baby. Level up with Lucy's nicotine breakers. It's a nicotine pouch with a surprise inside. Ooh. Lucy breakers have tiny capsules that burst open and release. Volumes of flavor. Oh, yeah. Delicious flavors mm-hmm. like mint, mango, berry, and my personal favorite, espresso. Don't be getting your nicotine fix from some gas station. Do yourself a favor. Get over there to Lucy. And get your fix anytime, anywhere. 50% off breakers. Check out, subscribe, and save option. Yeah, gang. So give yourself a little surprise when life feels overwhelming. You deserve it. It's easy peasy. You pop one in. You get your little... Kicking the keister, as I call it. You know what I mean? Visit L-U-C-Y dot C-O. That's Lucy dot C-O. And use promo code GARBAGE to get 20% off your first order. Shipping is always free. That's Lucy, L-U-C-Y dot C-O. Promo code GARBAGE to receive 20% off and always free shipping. Here comes the fine print, guys. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age. And every order is age verified. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Oh, yeah. Yeah, getting out of the house to see a therapist can be sometimes uh, challenging. It ain't always easy to get up and get moving. And let me tell you something from experience. Finding the right therapist is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. You end up sitting there. You're just talking to somebody. You don't even know what they're listening or not. It's only taking you eight years. Yeah. But do yourself a favor. Get over to BetterHelp. They can help you do it from the privacy of your own home. And the good thing is they might have specialists that aren't in your area. Yeah, gang. Uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, talk therapy is is a monumental tool that can help you at any point in your life, whether you just need a little sounding board, you need a little kick in the butt, whatever it is. Uh, Talk therapy can help, and BetterHelp can help you with that. You can do that from the comfort of your home or bed, uh, and no one judges you. It's convenient, flexible, and suited for your schedule. Fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and get on your way to start living a better life. If you need a different therapist, you can switch at any time. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash garbage to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash garbage. Do you old enough to remember NFL Pencils? With the sport, with the team, we just on have them. the team. And yeah, you could collect course. all of them. Uh, and yeah, yeah, they were yeah. colored pencils and yeah. stuff. Yeah, sweet. That was all right. <laughs> I I hated <laughs> trapper school. keepers. Trapper key. I hated dude, if you had a trapper keepers. You were you were dude, high on the hog. Dude. Metal. We had aluminum lunch boxes. 
Like you could fuck somebody up. With Aluminum, like a miner. Yeah, yeah man. Like, yeah. We were like, a God, like a goddamn tin knocker. I had, I had an NFL metal lunchbox with the, uh, and that was before it was like uh, the, all the teams were there. I had a Fall Guy one, a oh. Dukes of Hazard one, and you just open that bitch up. <laughs> God, you could fuck somebody. Nice thermos inside that thermos there. Inside, that's man. Thermos. Ooh, you had a little grape good. juice in there. You were all right. Kool Aid, yeah. Well, I was. I caught the tail end of metal. But like my older cousins had, when we had the metal ones, there would be like there'd be like pencils and shit in there, yeah, like a storage. But let me tell you something, the fall guy, that's something I always that would be the such the an, fall guy. The fall guy was a TV show uh, with Lee Majors, who was the six million dollar man. That's right. He played a stunt man in Hollywood that also worked as a private investigator. <laughs> and such an 80s show. Dude. That's crazy. Dude. <laughs> so good. It bro. was him. The volunteer fire. Him it was him, his goofy buddy named Howie. That's right. And an absolute fucking dime piece that ran I by mean. the name of Heather Thomas. Amen, brother. And Let me Mark, tell you. Marky Post. Marky Post from Night Court. That's right. God rest. She just passed away. She did. Yeah, she passed. Uh, she was the... Fucking IMDB over here. She was the lady that, like... Uh, Organized all the uh, the jobs for him, the yeah. She was there, what Bosley dude, or whatever. Yeah, they gotcha. had sexual tension, dude. It was such a good show, and every show in the '80s had a sick vehicle: a team van, Night Rider, and fucking Lee Majors used to ride around in this Bronco that was fucking stacked out. You remember that? Yeah, well, I think it was a. Uh, I'm gonna. There's one thing I'm gonna correct. Oh, I like right. This. It was look so- this. I think it was a GMC pickup. Okay. Yeah. I think. It was something I'm pretty like, sure. Had and those it was fat bad ti- ass. Dude. Two-tone brown, fat tires with the lights on top. And he sang the oh, theme yeah. song. Oh, yeah. That thing's mean. Dude, looking. that was always jumping. I'm the unknown stunt. Oh, such a song. Fruit, such a Damn, that yeah. thing would rip today, dude. Yeah, yeah. That would That's be such ass. a sick 1984 Chevy K-10. Remake K-10. that show. Chevy K-10. Okay. I, was, I just looked for a T-shirt for, for it the other day. Because Heather Thomas, all right, man, you're, you're not lying about a dying piece. She was so fucking hot and... I would go into Spencer. Remember the store sure. Spencer in the mall? And if you go to the back. I was there a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the back, they'd have oh, those she's posters. All right, huh? And there's this iconic one of right there yeah, of her the in pink. a pink bikini. And I would just go back into Spencer and just just drool over mm-hmm. that fucking poster. I'm like, I ain't buying this. But in, the, in the intro to the show, she would pop through a cowboy door just in, in like in a tiny bikini. It's fucking like seven o'clock on a hey, Tuesday night. You gotta sell the goods, you know what I mean? Bro, let me tell you something. This is how this is you wanna talk about trash and how far back I go. I used to set I learned how to set a VCR to record mm-hmm. because I used to jerk off the knots landing. <laughs> <laughs> I did the same thing with designing women. <laughs> Had Delta Burke did it for me. Delta Burke. Wait, designing women? What year was two, that? Two on? seven. I used to jerk off the two two seven. <laughs> Jack A coming down. Jack A and the old lady oh, up in the oh. window. Bro. <clears throat> Knots landing. Knots landing. Back in the day of my day, and I'm like middle school. This is after I figured out masturbation. I first j- learned how to jerk off before I figured out how to program a VCR. We're going in order. But not, not uh, excuse me, Knott's Landing was, uh, there, back in the day, it was big for, like, uh, evening soaps. So you had the Dynasty. Sure. You had Dallas, Falcon Crest. Falcon or, Crest. You had, yeah. They were evening soaps. Mm-hmm. And and somehow, I caught wind of Knott's Landing, and Donna Mills was on there, and uh, Nicolette Sheridan, when she was probably in her 20s, mm-hmm. is on there. Like, okay. There are so many. Joan Van Ark. There were so many of these beautiful women. There was a brunette, I forget. And, man, I used to record that. And that shit was on, like, nine or ten maybe okay yeah. so i'm supposed to be going to bed so i would set the vcr and i'd, I'd peek out to make sure those two red lights were on i'm like all right we got oh some jerk shit Spank tomorrow bro. Gauge, and then when nobody baby. be around i'd put that in there <laughs> i just watch donna mills and shit drive that little topless mercedes i'm like yeah you go donna mills some hospital scene you're pulling it <laughs> That's what I was early jerk stuff. Uh, now you can just go to awesome fisting.com. Yeah. I, li- I like it the other way. <laughs> my homepage. <laughs> people don't, young people that's don't my realize. Search, that's my search engine. <laughs> Dallas was a huge. Oh, who shot JR is a whole thing. Huge. Huge. Man, huge. I missed that. Massive. Shit. I feel like I'm suing my grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> we're only 10 years <laughs> apart. <laughs> Uh, I told you when we were driving through Dallas, I was like, that building's around here somewhere. <laughs> that was like a week ago. Not where JFK got shot, Mm-mm. but where JR worked, goddammit. <laughs> 
goddamn oil tycoon. <laughs> We're doing a Dallas tour down here. What, what book depository? What are you talking about, man? We're here to see who shot JR, man. <laughs> JR used to get laid in that bar right there. <laughs> Pull some trim out of there. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. shit oh. Um, in the last 365 days, have you ran over a squirrel <clears throat> or hit a deer? You know what? No, because I live in L.A. If I if I still lived in Maryland, man, hell yeah, I'm sure I would have. Clipping something. I did one time run over a squirrel on my bike, and it made me wreck, and it fucked me up because oh. the squirrel got confused. I was hauling ass down the hill, <laughs> and it, it did one of these numbers, and I went right, and it went right, and I went left, and it went left, and then it froze, and I ran it over, and I crashed. And I was like, ah, it, fu- it oh. fucked me up. Dude. How was the squirrel? <laughs> I just ran away. Yeah. I have no idea. That motherfucker They're like ran crack away. They're like crackheads, dude. Y'all ever um, try to catch any wild animals? Catch no. them, not kill them, just catch them. No, not really. Mm. I don't think so. We had a unintentionally. We had skunks in our house uh, one summer. <laughs> Where pain ran out to a victim. <laughs> <laughs> we had skunks one summer, and my dad hired this bozo of an exterminator to come. He set like six traps in our front yard. Put like different kinds of peanut butter and all this. Bad <laughs> Come smoke. out in the morning, you're in it. <laughs> <laughs> I got the fat one again. <laughs> <laughs> you're hanging upside down. From the <laughs> upside down. <laughs> your foot's in your foot's in a rope. We came out in the morning. There was a possum in one, a squirrel in the other, a fox in one. Bat in a cycle. <laughs> God <laughs> damn. I swear to God, it was every other kind of animal. But the, the mailman skunks. too. The skunks. skunks were just peeking out like you dumb motherfuckers. Laughing at the fox like ha, 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 you stupid son of a bitch. My kids are allergic to peanut butter. <laughs> My kid's got a peanut out. Can't touch this stuff. Can't uh, even be around it. We uh, <laughs> <coughs> we've we used to um oh, man. So we used to sit in my grandmother's row home in Baltimore, and uh, my brothers and I used to, she had a little tiny narrow backyard, and she would always throw stale bread out in the back, and like 30 birds would come in yeah. and grab some. We were one day, we were like, we're going to fucking, let's catch a bird. And my sure. grandmother was like, you're not catching a bird. And we old school Bugs Bunny took a cardboard box, and we took two old school clothespins, wooden ones, and just propped that box up mm-hmm. and tied a fucking string to it right up the in her dining room window, me and my two brothers would sit there Man, quiet. That was a stakeout for you mm-hmm. right then. And we're just pulling it and trying to pull it and catch these birds. And my grandmother would sit and talk to her. One, or, She had a bunch of sisters, but she'd talk to uh, my Aunt Helen all the time. She'd sit in a rocking chair. She's like, this is the quietest they've ever been. I love it. They think they're going to catch a bird. They think they're going to catch a bird. And this one fucking crow got too far under it, and we caught that motherfucker. We caught it. Seven years of bad luck catching and then, a crow. It might be. And then we took it and we put it in. A, we had a big dog kennel like thing in the back okay. for a dog we used to have, but we hadn't for like 15 years. I didn't want to ask, but yeah. I knew it wasn't up to code. Didn't want to get rid of the kennel just in case, you know. So we put it in there just to watch it, you know, and check it out. And this fucking blackbird's in there. And then we let it go. And my grandma was like, oh, my God, Ellen, they caught one. I said, we got one. And then we started getting good at it. We caught a fucking blue jay. Whoa. Prettiest goddamn bird I've yeah. ever seen That's... up close. We call it a goddamn blue jay. Those are slippery. And then, and I, this is when I learned that rabbits kind of scream. I didn't know this, but Jesus. a baby bunny just shot across, and we were like, oh, and we pulled it, and it fell. It's a light cardboard. It's nothing. Sure. It hit it like halfway on its back and sort of trapped it for a second. That motherfucker started going, uh-huh. We were like, what the fuck? And then it hauled ass. Yeah. It's brutal. Well, we I, got good at that shit. We had a bad experience. We, we My buddy hit my cousin, had a B, got a BB gun. And, you know, we were sixth, seventh grade, wanting to be tough guys. We went out. There was a bunny. There was a rabbit in the backyard. And I took a shot at it, and I caught it in the back. And this thing started screaming, man. Screaming. And then we had to go over and fucking stop it from screaming. We had to yeah. do what we had to do. <laughs> Dude. That's we, for time. We went from badass to the three of us, him, me, and my brother, both bawling, crying. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. didn't want to know it. You knew it. <laughs> and plus, we didn't do the execution well. Oh, I went up first, no. missed, caught him in like the <laughs> ear. Oh, no. And then my cousin went Just up and- do it already. Yes, yeah, serious. <laughs> you, you sons better. of bitches. <laughs> I'll see you in hell. <laughs> But dude, then we then we took it, we buried it in front of the shed and put a little cross in there and said a prayer. 
And dude, if every time I don't go over there, I don't look out in that in the, by that shed, it's still there, and think about it. Yeah, no, yeah. no animal dug it up. No, nah, I there. think he's gonna come get you one day. Yeah, that shit's coming. That's yeah. pet cemetery. I mean, maybe it got right dug there, up, but in my scared mind, scared the shit out of me. Pet cemetery ruined yeah. me oh, for man. about ten years. I saw I never, that at seven years old. Never felt worse in my right life. Right after we had to put Rusty down. Yikes. We, we had a uh, we had Daisy 880 BB gun, so it was pellet and BB. That pump was it, the hybrid. The pellet that gun. Was right? good. We used to play BB tag with. Yeah, them. we did that. Supposed to like, oh, you can only pump it twice, but and the pearls hit. We would we would put cookie sheets on our front and back. We took like baking sheets. You guys are in the penitentiary. At least, at least that was, you know what I mean? Nothing on our face, by the way. <laughs> Just our chest and back. <laughs> Nothing to protect our face at all. Your no, grandma I'm screaming not. about the cookie sheets. But my brother, we had this woodpecker that was living behind us. Not not the Tom Segura woodpecker. He he killed a woody woodpecker. This was just a little <laughs> okay. guy. But he's out there. Gah, 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 gah. And my brother just posts up in the window and boom, he hits this fucking woodpecker. And he's like, I got it. And we go out and this woodpecker's just, this poor little woodpecker's just dead on the ground. And. Uh-huh. My brother picks it up, and that little head's flopping, and then all of a sudden it pops up and goes, gah, 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 gah. it <laughs> Got fucking you, bitch. lit his hand up. And he threw it on the ground, took his BB gun, and he fucking Jesus <laughs> murdered that motherfucker, okay? And then, just because he was pissed, he takes his fucking hoodie string out, ties the fucking thing around this woodpecker's neck, hangs it from a fucking tree, and I'm telling you, we come back the next day, and it's gone, and there's little fox prints Oh, under it shit. and i say this all the time somewhere there's a fox out there going i'm telling you it was <laughs> hanging from a tree can't make this shit up gary i'm telling you i'm just walking it's hanging from a tree ronnie you're drunk no one believes that story yeah. <laughs> sitting at some fox bar there's some fox out there that got a free woodpecker the yeah, easy way awesome. bro <laughs> god you know he walks by every tree still. Like what the fuck? You gotta check. <laughs> He's always looking. It's like finding bro. a twenty in an you ATM. Know. You, gotta you never check. know. You're checking a loose change in the phones. <laughs> He's somewhere in Virginia. Uh, Tell him we gotta get back to Baltimore, man. They got <laughs> woodpeckers hanging from the trees. Man, tree. we got so many animals. We used to have. We had chameleons, two iguanas. <laughs> Rich one. Uh, my brother was Sounds really like the goddamn Galapagos. He was big in the snakes. That's, I'm not a snake that's fan. That's trash. That's man. Big in the snakes. Any lizard, bird, or snakes. Yeah, is a, we is never have birds. Song. We never. Have, I always felt cruel having a bird. I just was like, that thing can fly. Some mm-hmm. people do loose birds in the house, which is yeah, the no, biggest no no. My favorite is when I see these in L. A. Like my bird's missing. I'm like, my bird's gone, yeah. bro. That bird just birded. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking? He about? just remembered he was a bird. Yeah, he's nowhere near here. Mm-hmm. Um. But one, it was, uh, God, this is, I'm in high school. I'm probably 15, um, and it's my turn to cut the grass, and we had a riding mower, and it was the same snapper that was Patrick Dempsey rode in Can't Buy Me Love. Shout out to it. Okay. Snapper. Great fucking movie. Great bag catcher on the back. Like, that was a big deal. We had Hoity a bag toity. catcher. We didn't have that for Court a McCown's in that movie. He, he, yeah, that's right. Yeah. He sure is. Yeah. He's in that and uh, Team Wolf. Um, do you know he's that? A team yeah, yeah, he's on the basketball team. Oh, is he? Yeah, he sure is. Yeah. Um, a couple of hits right there, kids. Yeah. Do yourself time. a favor. Pick up Can't Buy Me Love. And all he's done is just become better and better looking, too. That's uh, dude, bitch. crazy. Good looking. Yeah, I only met him once at New York shit. Comedy Club, but he was count. cool as shit. Oh, he's a great dude. Um, but I see up, so a neighbor lived a few houses up, and I'm in our backyard, and I'm looking at all the houses' backyards, and I can see my brother and him. They got a trash can and they got a broom and they're hitting a pine tree and I'm like, oh, they're definitely is a, they're getting a snake, and whatever. Time goes by, I don't think anything of it. As I come around, um, I'm I'm in shape. Then it's summer, my shirt's off, and I look up on our deck and my brother's got like this six foot black snake and I'm like, don't do it, dude. Don't fucking throw it on me. So oh, and I'm nervous. I'm listening to music. I've got the yellow Sony Walkman. Shout out to it. Some Ozzy Osbourne cassette man. in there, and you got to listen to every song or fast forward. And I'm going around, and the next time or two I come by, and I just feel something slap across the back of my fucking neck. And I look to my right, and there's this fucking snake Ah. face right here. And I said, ah! I grabbed that (laughs) motherfucker, and I threw it on the ground, and I fucking put that blade down. He's like, don't do it. And I rode that motherfucker. Jesus. Chopped that bitch up and dumped it out of that bag, and I said, there's your fucking snake. (laughs) My brother was crazy with snakes. I'm picking up on that. My brother, we would go to the pet store. I don't think you're what we'd call normal either. (laughs) (laughs) Just turn a snake to mulch. Turn a snake with a lung. (laughs) I did mulch that motherfucker. Jesus Christ. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking work for the Lucchese family or something like that. Fuck snakes. 
He, he would go to the pet store <laughs> and buy disagree. the baby mice. You know, they, they sell sure. feeder mice for, sure. for, yeah. for people who have snakes. Kills Wait, me. he was buying them without a snake? No, no. He would catch a wild okay, snake, gotcha. and then we'd go get the sure. baby mice. And I'm just fascinated That's by That's the it. craziest part. Going to a pet store and getting a snake is one thing. Catching one and keeping it. Yeah. That's an outdoor snake. And he puts it in a fucking aquarium. With lids on it and rocks on top of it and shit, and then put the baby mice in there and watch the snake do its thing. But this one time, snakes won't eat anything that's that's dead. Mm-hmm. It's got to be moving. So this snake had hit this fucking little mouse so much that the damn intestines are coming out of it. Jesus. And my brother, <laughs> it was our little league money, and he was like, "I'm not wasting that mouse." Like, what the fuck are you gonna do? He ties fishing string to the tail and he dances, <laughs> dances oh, it. This guy's nuts. Until the fucking <laughs> snake hits it, then he reaches in. And this is when I knew he was crazy. That snake bit him right on the fucking hand. Dude, I would have I would have screamed. Freaked out. I would have gone yeah. to the That's fucking the phys- uh, uh, first aid, whatever. Yeah. This motherfucker just didn't even look at his hand. He just looked at the fucking snake, and he's like, all right, you son of a bitch. And I was like, you're not the fuck. Jesus. Then my mom takes our younger brother to um, the pediatrician, and we have to go because we just have to fucking go. Mm-hmm. And we have a Volkswagen Beetle at the time. Oh, man, you talk about trash. Don't let me forget to tell you what we did yeah. with that Beetle. A Beetle. A Volkswagen Beetle. Well, so we it for insurance money mm, at this nope. point. I'm, we'll get to those, though. <laughs> but we're sitting in the car. We're like, we're not going in. We're just going to chill out here in the yeah. car. And my brother reaches in his fucking jacket and pulls out a goddamn snake. A little, I think they're, are they garter or Gar- gardener yeah. snake? Garter snake. I always mess it up. Little garter yeah. snake. And it's just going around his hand. I'm like, what the fuck? Where'd you get that? He's like, oh, I was in a bush when we walked oh. outside. I'm like, what? You're fucking mental, bro. Jesus. You're fucking mental. There was that many fucking snakes around? Yeah. Loose Black snakes. snakes. Well, Maryland's full of copperheads and water moccasins. Those are. I didn't true. know that. Oh, I guess yeah. it's more like lowland. It's a lot of water, a lot yeah. of water. When lot you're of moisture, fishing, you'll yeah. see a water moccasin. They're poisonous as fucking copperheads are big. They're really poisonous, too. Wait, what? Kevin, let's talk about Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile, Mint Mobile, Mint Mobile, Mint Mobile. Yeah, how about that Ryan Reynolds, huh? Shout out to him. Good looking kid, nothing wrong with him. Mm-hmm. Gang, inflation is, uh, is creeping up on everybody. Someone would call it bonkers. Everything has gone up. You got groceries, you got gas, you got clothing, mm-hmm. except for who? Who hasn't? Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile, baby. $15 a month. Get yourself all set up. And you know why? Why? Because they don't do brick and mortar. They pass the savings right on to the consumer. So you choose. Yeah. Uh, We've said it a bill. I've said it once. I said it a bajillion times. We love Mint Mobile. We love it. My wife's been using it for years. Uh, It's easy peasy. They send it right to your door. Set it in. Pop it in. Bada bing, bada boom. You're all set. And a price don't go up. It is what it is, baby. Mint Mobile foregoes the traditional cost of retail. Like he said, uh, all plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data on the nation's largest 5G network. Look at that 5G, baby. Switching couldn't be easier to keep the same phone, your phone number, and all of your contacts. The only thing that changes is your bill, and it goes down. Okay? To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free. Really? Go to mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash garbage. Do it. Now back to that gosh darn show. Back to the show. Yeah, LA's got all the rattlesnakes, man. I've seen tons of those motherfuckers. Ah, they scare me. And they're fear, dark dude. and black I don't and like big them. and thick, and they're right across the trail when you're hiking. I was, I was, I'm an idiot. I, I stepped off the trail to take a piss because I'm just very worried about any kids coming by and my dick's out. Like, I have a thing sure, about that. Sure. So I'm behind this that's bush. Good, that's that's good, not a good, thing. Good. That's <laughs> the law, which I respect. He called me old fashioned. <laughs> Yeah. Jesus Christ. Now, I might be a weirdo, but I don't like showing my dick to kids. <laughs> but also, I've been told if you're pissing in public, you can go on a, sure. a pedo register because yeah. your dick's yeah, out. Don't you don't need that shit. I just don't want to do that. So yeah. I'm, I'm way in these bushes, and I see a hole, and I'm like, I'm just going to piss in this hole. And I'm not thinking at all, and I'm oh, pissing in oh. this hole. And there's a hole fucking behind me, and this rattlesnake comes out, and I, I promise you, it slithers right next to my right foot, oh, and I I'm I'm terrified. I uh-huh. just stay still, and it just goes right on fucking by, and then I just put my dick in my pants and leapt out of Damn. that fucking thing. I was like, yeah. good god, that's the scariest part because oh. 
you have to remain calm in those situations. Otherwise, for sure, he's going to get you. And the other thing, too, is the first thing you're going to want to do is you're up on a hill or something. You're going to want to run to get help, and then then your blood starts pumping hard. So you're kind of – you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. You're in trouble. I would have freaked. I would have fucking full-blown panicked. Yeah, I'm I'm not a fan of fucking snakes. I hated the reptile guy that would come to school. Do you remember the reptile guy? Oh, fuck him. That guy would show up in a van. He'd be like, here's a big tortoise. I'm like, Mm -mm. where are you getting these? Yeah. Yeah. Where the fuck you get <laughs> these? Ain't at your house. Showing dude. up in a van. This yeah. thing's this thing's a hundred years old. It's a U-Haul. It's just, not even yeah, van. It's just fucking in the back of your van. Like you what definitely are you live about? in your mom's basement. <laughs> I don't know where you're keeping these. Oh, I'll t- I want to tell you what we did with this Volkswagen oh, yeah. bug because this is so, trash. We're talking an old school VW Beetle from the seventies. This is the engine mid- in the back. What color are we? Trunk talking? in the front. Exactly, hundred percent. It's red. It's red, but it's, it's older and it's rusty from the, all the salt on the roads sure. over the years and shit. And the, the yellow pages, remember the yellow pages, let your fingers do the walk and was course. their ad then. Um, they were doing a special where they would paint your car whatever color and then you had to put their decals on your car. And I think you did it for six months to a year. And then after they pull the decals off and you have a free paint job. So Whoa. my parents decide to do this, and we get a blue beetle now. Well, it was still so small, we called it the pants pocket. This motherfucker was small <laughs> as shit. Let's go hop in a pocket. And there's five, four or five of us in there. You know, it's my parents and three of us and before they split. And then um, they peel the decals off. <laughs> you can clearly see the fucking the outline. So our uh, paint probably job still was red under shit. Yeah. <laughs> it was shit. It was shit. Man. <laughs> it was terrible. Yeah, we oh, fooled God, them dude. sicklers down there. I love you guys. Okay, do you remember Hunter? The show Hunter. Of course. Okay, Fred uh, Dreyer. Fred I think Dreyer, his name was. ex-football, he was an ex-football player. player. Okay. Think for Dee Dee. the Chargers. Dee Dee was his girl. Yeah. And she drove this Dodge Chrysler Laser. It was called a Chrysler Laser. Okay. Big deal back then. It was a hot car, right? Was it a convertible? No. Look, look, I want you to look this up if you don't yeah, mind. Give it a because. Yeah, I got it. Because. In Baltimore at the time, there was a country station called 93 WPOC. Oh, that's all right. Is it country? Yeah, that, I remember that. That car. They're giving this car away. Okay, WPOC, the radio station, is giving this car Ooh. away. They're 93 WPOC, and 93 people are going to get a chance to win this brand new mm-hmm. Chrysler Laser. Okay. Damn, that thing's sweet though. It was sweet. And that's by, like the that's the epitome of an 80s car, right? Thank there. you. And and remember what we have. So we're dying to get something like mm-hmm. this. So they do this at the Inner Harbor. They park the car at the Inner Harbor, and they roll a window down. And the contest, I think it might have been, I don't know how far the distance was. It was 93 contestants. Maybe it was 93 feet. I don't know what it was. But you had to fucking throw a football in this window, and you win a car. Okay? My mother has three boys who are very fucking athletic doesn't ask us anything. She's asking these clowns where she works at this. My mom worked at this convenience store called Little George's. Shout there out, were shout out to it. There were like four of them in Maryland. You know what I mean? Like four. Not of them. quite a chain, Not but a quite chain. A chain. <laughs> George got it. George George's had some good right. years, some bad right. years. George was doing all right. Kids were going to college, but he, was, he wasn't he was a fucking... Uh, he didn't have a lot of little Georges. Yeah. He had a little, little Georges. <laughs> he didn't have the ambition of a Wawa. <laughs> no, no, exactly. And uh, so she's asking clowns at her work, and she doesn't even practice at all. She does nothing. So it comes to the night. We all go down, and she might be like 85th. She's in deep in there. And and if everyone misses, they go again. Okay. Right? Respect. So everyone has missed up to my mom. And we're like, here we fucking go. My it. mother's going to laser this. Johnny and Nitus is motherfucking lace it up, yeah. right through that goddamn window. And she fucking throws that ball. And that dead duck fucking floats <laughs> up at about a quarter of the way there. It hits the dirt or concrete, just skids off to the side. And we're like. Fuck. This is our. That's that's a microcosm of our whole fucking life right here, right now. <laughs> Just too short. And there's this fucking guy who's been throwing the whole time. He's like three behind my mom. He's been throwing the whole time, throwing only one, throwing the whole time with his buddy, and he fucking right in that goddamn window. Lasers it. So now everyone before him's done, and only anybody behind him Handful can match. Handful of people can. And match what him. does he do? He's a pro. He goes right off to the side, 
continues to throw because I might have to throw again. Holy shit. And he won that goddamn Chrysler laser. Nobody fucking That's like did Tom Brady shit. Yeah. Like, stay on. We were down there just for heartbreak <laughs> and humiliation. Got back in the Yellow got Pages a, got Beetle. A, got, a fuck, got back in the Yellow Pages Beetle with a WPOC t-shirt and bumper sticker and got the fuck you out of there. You got the Tito. <laughs> got some fresh gear, dude. Damn. Oh, my God, Sickler. That's oh, funny. Fucking home What were run. your cars? Growing, Growing up, up, yeah, uh, we had the the Woody <laughs> van in the early '90s. That was when I first remember, like the maroon Woody van. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then she moved to a Ford Taurus, I believe. Now, I remember Taurus was a good car, and you couldn't tell us shit at that time. Yeah. That was that was yeah. it. Rolled down windows the whole nine. <laughs> then she she moved to uh, she. My brother convinced her to get a used red Sebring convertible, and she bought it in February, which didn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> We were riding around with the Freezing. top down, yeah. fucking just yeah. flexing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were like, what the fuck is this? She left the top down a bunch, fucked that thing up. Uh, then it bravado. Yeah, just a bunch of mismatched cars. Mm. Used cars. Always Never used cars. Never a You're right. Never Always a new. Used. She just got her first new car probably about five years ago, and it was because she had the grandkids, and my brother and sister were like, you got to get a better fucking car. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to get, get a safe car, yeah. safe, reliable. Yes. We we kicked it off uh, with a late seventies Ford Matador. That was my grandmother's. <laughs> that we, I haven't heard that one in forever. That right? we that we rolled in until maybe eighty five, eighty six, and then we got a um, a Pontiac six hundred. I want to say it looked like the Grand Prix, but it was a yeah. little bigger. Still a two door. Mm-hmm. Doors were about forty feet long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those yeah. doors were heavy. Heavy yeah. bike doors, doors dude. Yeah. But I remember crying when we pulled out of the uh, the car dealership because we were leaving the Matador behind, and I didn't understand what was going on. And I was, you know, my grandmother's car, all that kind of stuff, fucking killed me. And then we had that until the nineties, and then we had a real big misstep on a GMC Jimmy that my dad fucking hated. And then they uh, Nissan was really popping. So they started leasing. He bought a Nissan truck, which was awesome. And my mom leased uh, Maximas for, for a good run in the 90s. And they were fucking all right. Yeah, Maxima But always, was a, always a, bad, a bad lease. Didn't get anything out Upside of it. Down Just turned it. that yeah. fucking thing right back <laughs> yeah. in. Yeah. Just fucking ripping heaters in it. <laughs> fucking kept it moving. Dude, smoking in a lease is a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. They don't give a shit. What was your first uh, your first car with power windows? Oof, great question, Jesus. Well, I had um, my first car was a 1980 Toyota. People don't believe me when I say this, but I've had to prove it, and I have. It's, it was actually back then. It was a Corolla Tercel. It was both. Then, yeah. they, then they broke them up. I remember the Tercel. Yeah, they were kind of like boxy a little bit. Yep. They had the yeah. hatchback. And, and did they have a hatchback. I remember the they old did, Tercels but I had I had the trunk, but it also wasn't even a. It was a matte finish. It wasn't even. It didn't. Ooh. You didn't even get a gloss paint on that Man. motherfucker. It was dull. It was blue. That was, that was house paint, dude. <laughs> and when I, dude, it, <laughs> got that down at the depot. <laughs> no doubt. And when I bought it. My buddy and I, we drive it to Ocean City right when we get it. And I'm like, what? This fucking lot of gas smell coming in here. By the time we get to Ocean City, I pop the hood. The fuel filter's busted. It's spitting wet gas into the oh, car. Jesus. Everybody's like, you ready to go out? We're like, man, we're tired. <laughs> we're sweet. We're like, we're tired as shit, man. We don't, we're not going anywhere. I'm ready, to go to, I'm ready to go to sleep, man. We just suck gas for two and a half fucking hours. Often fucking gas, dude. Um, save you on beers, you know what I mean? And then I had, a, I had a 1990 Honda Civic with original rims. That's and I, nice. I drove that. Mother, I bought that from a junkyard that I worked in, which is where the the, cr- the cars come in, the stolen cars and gotcha. stuff. Gotcha. But, but I worked there and bought that, and I drove that motherfucker. So to answer your question, it wasn't well into my, I drove that. I had that for till 300,000 miles. So Jesus Christ. Late in my 30s, I, I bought a, from an ex-girlfriend, actually, I bought a um, Jeep Cherokee, and that was the first that was all right. power windows. That, but it wasn't because that one, actually, that particular one ended up being the Lemon Law. Jesus. And when I'm driving on the freeway, it would just go boo. And it would shut down. Talk about bad luck. And then you had, to, you had to stop on the freeway, put it in park, and then turn to start it again. And that started to get less and less. Like the brakes would go out. I'd be going down the canyon roads, and I would have no power steering, no brakes. I would float in the gas stations. Man, I was like, this car is fucking deadly. Damn. That does make you, being a dirt, being a dirt bag with a dirt bag car, which I've learned, you really 
learn how to think on your feet oh, when man. shit goes the down. The ins and outs. Oh, you yeah. really learn, like, all right, I'm going downhill. There's a gas station. I yep. can clock it in there. My fucking transmission dropped out of my Honda Civic one night, and I was driving to my job at UPS. Shout out to UPS Baltimore Hub Primary 1 Joe Avenue. Shout and out. <laughs> you have the trashiest shout outs in the history of this show. Bro, yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> shout out to that Eiffel Tower, Kingston. And <clears throat> hey, don't forget about STEMS hardware, everybody. <laughs> STEMS supply, y'all. Um, and I worked probably from when I'm living at my grandmother's place to because I did live with my grandma for a while. And uh, I'm driving to UPS and it's probably, I don't know, two miles. And I only had first gear. And <laughs> I drove that motherfucker her, 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 all the way to work. I called my buddy Shannon. He owned the junkyard. It was his dad's. Junk, and he's, he's the only guy like I don't know how many people have a friend who owns a rollback. But he had a rollback. We had one growing up. Yeah, and I'm like, had, yeah. can I? Were you the neighborhood toe as well for everybody? Not really, because he was a bit of a prickly guy, so nobody wanted to ask him oh, for favors. Yeah, yeah. But we call our buddy and be like, I'd be like, dude, my my car is out, com- transmission shot. It's sitting in the lot at UPS. Mm-hmm. Will you come and fucking tow it and just take it to my apartment, and then I'll fucking have triple A or whatever tow it from there. And he would go do that shit for us. Damn. Yeah. That's all right. It's yeah. a good time. That is all Dude, right. being in a roll, yeah, there's a certain emotion of being in a fucking a roll-off truck where you're like, it's fun, because you, but you're like, ah, oh, this is going to cost me 500 bucks. It's yeah. going to cost me $1,000 yep. or something, yeah. I had a Honda Accord hatchback that every time I, every time I got gas, I'd have to go in there like a dirt bag and get a fucking thing of oil and fucking- Every. Every, every, every time, time, man. Yeah. And dude, at the end of this car, I drove from uh, my parents' house to my girlfriend's house in Westchester, uh, PA- Drove back and it sounded real weird. I swear to God, I opened the hood and the engine or the transmission was glowing red. <laughs> Dude, it was that high. It was probably seconds from exploding. Uh-huh. And my dad came out. He was like, What the fuck? He was like, Well, you're done with this. Yeah. You get an appreciation. You can't even you work do. on a car anymore. You can't. There's 20, the guy's like, There's 27 computers on this car. I'm like, What the fuck? I know. I remember I used to, my car would overheat all the time and I used to take this like powder and put it in. Also, I used to say radiator. Okay? Yeah, of uh, I still say radiator. Over Do by the radiator. radiator. Yeah, radiator. I would say radiator. Yeah. Rad- people shamed me on that one too. Like, radiator. The what? It's radiator. That's yeah, a radiator. Sure. But I grew up with radiator. Those things, th- those those radiators over there. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a radiator. That's a right radiator. <laughs> we were taught you, you're gonna get burned yeah. on the radiator. Yeah, the radiator. Sounds it's, like a surfer's nickname. <laughs> yeah. What's up? I- I'm, I'm Kevin, a.k.a. The Radiator. Well, well, dude, I knew kids that were playing with it. You don't go by that now, bro. <laughs> you better have a line of T-shirts coming out tomorrow, bro. <laughs> the Radiator. But I knew kids that would get sprayed by them. They'll burn yeah. their face. Uh, you don't yeah. open it up. No. Man, you ever have a kid show up to school in, like, third, fourth grade with fucking burns all over his face? <laughs> like, what radiator, the fuck happened man. to you? Goddamn, Goddamn Radiator. radiator. God. I Jeez. told you, stay away from the Radiator, Steven. <laughs> I was laying there watching Fall Guy, and the radiator got me. <laughs> Sprayed all over me, motherfucker. Boiling hot. But you learn shit. Like, these old mechanics, they lean on the radiator, and then it causes a hairline fucking fracture, and then next thing you know, your shit's overheating. So I used to put this powder in, and this powder would harden inside gotcha. there and fill the crack. Mm-hmm. And you get maybe 10,000 miles, and it's happening again. You just mm-hmm. have to keep doing I would put, one time this mechanic put, uh, this poxy on it for me and I go is that really gonna hold he's like this is always like a this is what people always say this shit is a test like they put this on the space show you know <laughs> this is nice <laughs> like, which one the one that blew up which, which there's two of them we've had trouble with motherfucker <laughs> they put this you mean on the one that's a pile yeah. of ashes right now yeah! The one all over the beach right now? <laughs> that the one they're running on? I mean cause I don't need that shit bro. well let me tell you something if they told Save you that save me the headache will you? <laughs> If they told you that before 86, you'd be like, are you shitting me? Yeah, you oh, would. Yeah. You're right. Spell it's on everything. Oh. NASA, I don't get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, did you guys ever have kerosene heaters growing up? No. no. Wow. We, we, had, uh, we had two. <laughs> <laughs> In the car. <laughs> I see. We kept the beetle warm. <laughs> they were so dangerous. Yeah, dude. That's like a pipe. <laughs> that's a pipe bomb. That is a go. pipe. We had a one that was like it had the base and it was a tower. Mm-hmm. And you know, my brothers and I, we'd always be fucking with. We'd spit on it all the time, <laughs> and put food on it. But then grill snake. I like grab your hand and try to get you on there, rookie. Ow! God damn it! 
Quit playing, Ryan. It's so fucking hot. Dude, and sick. I look back at it now. We're in sixth grade, and we've got a fucking jug, a blue jug of kerosene uh-huh. in the house. And we're children, and we've got the thing on it. We're pouring it in ourselves, man. I would never yeah, let my Imagine ever. your doll. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Fuck that. Ever. I can't even believe we're alive. Yeah. We had a coal stove for a long time. We had one of those. Yeah. Yep. We used to get the coal. Not coal wood. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, well, we had coal, and we'd get uh, the coal would get delivered. And it would get dumped into the fucking driveway. Me and my brother would have to fucking shovel it into a bin. Nuh-uh. I swear to God, this was in the 90s. <laughs> we had this thing. <laughs> when heat exists. Dude, it, in the, the 90s. 2004. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, man. That kept you real warm it and did, toasty didn't at it? night. Woo! Yeah. We had a wood one. It smelled like a bonfire, I'm and sure. It was, it was too hot A wood hot stove that, that enclosed. It was like the. It was like it sat on your fireplace, fireplace mantle. Yeah, yes. the black one. Yeah, yeah, black. And it had like a circle lid, and you picked the handle up, and you just yep. spun it this way, and you threw whatever in. And you, it like Basically a dumpster. Yeah. And you just set a dumpster fire in the fucking yeah. house. Yeah. yeah Would you go dumpster. to School fire. smelling like wood a little oh, bit. Oh, smoke, everything. Yeah. Like, yeah, oof. My yeah. buddies that live down the street, uh, shout out to Steve Pyle, they they had a, a regular fireplace that they would use to heat the house. And he would show up smelling like fucking Franklin's barbecue every <laughs> fucking every You morning. been camping again, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we camp a lot. Yeah, trout biting again. Uh, I remember my mom in the morning wouldn't want to heat the house, so she would open the... St- just turn the stove on high. Yep, open yeah. the stove just to heat the kitchen. Just while to she's gas making it up. Breakfast. Just yeah. to gas. Yeah, just to get me light headed before yeah. fucking before a big vocab test. <laughs> made it real cozy though. They made you not want to leave the kitchen. Happy and fucking yeah. content yeah. in there. They're nice yeah. and warm. Uh, all right, well, we got to get to some fucking uh, Patreon cues here, gang. As you know, when you join the Patreon, we will answer your Patreon, your garbage Patreon questions on the air. It's just the best way to do it. Patreon gets the first crack at it because, like I said, it's the greatest website of all time. Uh, this was from Garrett, Canadian homie here. Never had one read. Is it garbage to test drive a truck to help a buddy move a freezer? <laughs> <laughs> That's hacking the system, baby. Yeah. That's brilliant is what that is. That's fantastic. That is you can't fair. fuck that no. truck up, though. No. You what do you tell the doing. sales guy? Can make a quick stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I assume he's not with you. Yeah, they don't go with you now. Yeah, At least in L.A. COVID, they don't. Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, last time probably I tested your license car, you leave your license yeah. with them, your driver's license with them, and then you go out on your own. No For real. Shit. Yeah, yeah, they don't wow, care anymore. sweet. Yep. My buddy's dad, I'll, always, I'll never forget that my buddy's dad uh, owned a body shop, and he was selling a motor, like his motorcycle or something. So this guy showed up, pulled his car in, and he was like, yeah, man, leave your car here, and you can go test drive the, like, you'll test drive the truck, but just leave your car here with the keys. He's like, yeah, yeah, of course, man. So the guy on the bike hops on the bike, drives away. This is Vinny with the skinny's dad. Drives away, and uh, he's not whatever. He's just, like, working on a truck in the garage. The, he, the guy who pulled up in the car had a guy laying in the back seat with a second set of keys. He hopped in, drove the car off, and, like, made away with the bike and Stole, the car completely nah, gone. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa. He was like, I just got He's like, I kind of fucking respect the move because I never fun. even fucking thought of it. That's fucking yeah. crazy. Some guy hopped in and just peeled out. It's pretty later. Smart. That is, that is <laughs> smart. Uh, all right, let's see here. This is from Paige Doherty. Anyone in your family ever smoke cigs in bed? Sure. We smoked in the house, but never in bed, I don't think. You grew up in a smoking family? Only my grandma DeVito, and because we had this nice house that my parents couldn't afford, you know, you look back on it, and she lived with us for a while. I was, I was like, oh, grandma's kicking in on this house, you mm-hmm. know? But she had her own dining room area and her own bedroom, and nice. that's where she would smoke. She'd yeah, rip her heaters. She was there. Italian. She would... Her diet was pretty much Marlboro Lights, peanuts, and like Diet Coke or that's Diet That's how Pepsi. I'm living right now, to be honest <laughs> with you. Pretty much. That's it, bro. And lottery tickets. Shout out to Nana DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's doing it right out the there. Shit. Living yeah. on lottery tickets. That's all right. Oh, man. Uh, all right. This one's from Bill. Anyone in your family ever used the club on the steering wheel of your car? Yeah, myself. You? Oh well, man, I still on, on my IG, no, not now. <laughs> on my IG story, anytime I see a club, I throw it up oh, and no with shit. Ice Cube's club, and yeah, I got a whole thing going. I used to, I mean, oh, I had it, it lay, yeah, it laid right up underneath my. The other day, I did one. It was back to back clubs on this car and this car. I was like back to back clubbed Damn. up, y'all. Um, People are I still have a whole bit them? about it in my album because what it always said was it didn't say like I'm protecting this car. It was more of a message like this is everything I fucking have. You know, oh, what I'm saying? that's <laughs> great. That's what it's hey, all. Hey, buddy, about. I need this. <laughs> this is all I got, bro. Like a car payment's gonna put me under yeah, right now. Okay, fuck me up. It's gonna fuck me up. So please oh, move I never on. Thought of that. And it's just more of a deterrent. Like eh, it's gonna take it's me gonna five harder, minutes yeah. longer than this yeah, one over yeah, here. Yeah. But yeah, I clubbed it up forever for years and years on that Honda Civic. Was your was it also like? Did you ever think of 
as a weapon too. If you ever get oh it. yeah, that's two everybody's pieces, thought. two yeah. pieces, sure. breaking that bitch. Up I always like the little one better. I had yeah. a little more. I had, I mean, and I was good at it too. I'd be like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like a ninja turtle, <laughs> like a set of nunchucks. I'd lock the wheel real quick. I'd pick, 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 I'd be out of there. <laughs> I also used one on my motorcycle. I had a, a motorcycle for a second. I, I've never really enjoyed it. I was never comfortable on it. I felt vulnerable and weak on that fucking thing but i had a back one you know lock the back tire mm -hmm. club thing and someone tried to come steal it um the club but club saved my car so they ended up just busting the windows out these motherfuckers took the carpet out of the hatchback that's Jesus. how much they stole that's how much they stole they wanted it all they took the carpet <laughs> out, like off keeps. the back of my seats like krrr, like ripped it all out because of course back then i had a box i had two tens in the, the back of that little yep. shout out to the subwoofer and uh and an alpine pull out uh detachable face which is alpine. why they didn't get that Dang. you know what i'm saying they didn't get that um but it saved the car from being stolen and then the motorcycle someone tried to steal it, but they couldn't get it off so they just fucking dumped it over on its side and Fuck fucked it up big yeah. kids yeah did you, you guys never clubbed it up? Never. That was already, by the time I started dry, you know, by the time I got my license, it was 2003 or whatever. That was already kind of kind of out the door, I guess. Yeah, my brother had it, I remember, in his Jeep. He had a Jeep Cherokee. He had that same thing. It was car like, alarm? Did you ever have the Viper car alarm? No, that was, yeah. Yeah, when you had the second clicker, like the... That yeah. was funny. Yeah, you had your thing. own clicker. That guy showed up to a party. He was flashing it. Yeah. He wore his keys on his belt. Yep. Dude. Let, you, let you know. Oh, you mean that's why? Had a face of the have face of the stereo in his pocket, <laughs> in like a sunglass case. Yeah, yeah, yeah the sunglasses. You're right. Uh, all right, let's see here. Uh, this one's from Romeo, uh, long time ten dollar homie. Is a garbage you use a semi truck casually? One time, my cousins, their car was dead, so we took my uncle's semi truck to church. <laughs> Casually. Jeez, casually. Yeah. Rolling up to church. Those without the trailer, they look sweet, though. They oh, do. I didn't they even think tight. without the trailer. You remember the flat one, the flat face ones? In they, the remember in, the, in the and Smokey and the Bandit, they would race them. They would have yeah. tractor races, but it was just a tractor on that fucking Yeah, thing. it was all right. No, dude. I think that's a boss move. Yeah. yeah. Pull up. But we're, I'm trash. That's true. <laughs> also true. So I Let's think grade a on a curve move. with it. Can you do that? Is that legal? Can I just get a tractor trailer Yeah, front? I think as long as the plates are... Yeah, you can't. I there mean, was this um, truck... You can't put a regular set of tags on it. No, I got gotcha. you. You yeah. got to have a CDL for that motherfucker. You oh, but, I could, but if I got a CDL, I could roll around... <laughs> I was the most dirt bad. I have CDL for that motherfucker. <laughs> you got to have a CDL for that. They're gotta gonna, pass that they're gonna, you got to pass the vision and piss test. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, you're going to need clean pee oh, for about two weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lay CDL. off the cheaper. That's commercial, bro. That's commercial. <laughs> we ain't talking recreational, baby. <laughs> I guess that ain't happening then. My eyesight stinks and I ain't making what it on a What if you pencil. set that as your goal? You should do it, bro. Yeah, Go get your CDL, on, man. What great, are you talking dude. about? It's a great goal. <laughs> yeah. Double clutch. And then go shit. drive an 18-wheeler for your fans. <laughs> oh, God, I'd tune in to watch the whole process. Oh, baby. We got to wrap it up, though, gang. This has been fucking fantastic. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ryan Sickler Woo! has an amazing special out right now called Lefty Sun. It's on his YouTube page. You have to check it out. Of course, the host of the Honeydew Podcast. Thank you, guys. Buddy, we can't thank you enough. Yeah. We love you. Love you. Anything you want the folks fantastic. out there to know, hit them. Uh, yeah, subscribe to Honeydew. Uh, watch my special. This is something I put as a labor of love myself. Like we say, these f free podcasts and specials are definitely not free to bring <laughs> to y'all. And um, everything's on RyanSickler.com. My tour dates, all of it's there. Go check it out. Buddy, we love you. We love can't it, thank man. you yeah, for such coming. A thank you fucking so time, much. Buddy. Congratulations yeah. on everything. You're fucking killing it. We're Same. so happy for you. Same. Thank you. Kippy, what do you got for him? Guys, we're all over the road. Tickets are on sale. We're adding second shows in some places. Get those tickets before they're gone. Thanks for everything. We love you. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.